हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर मधु शर्मा एच ओ डी एम सी डिपार्टमेंट बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ वेलकम सी आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन एंड द सब्जेक्ट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस नाउ फर्स्टली वुड लाइक टू डिफाइन कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन इज अ टेक्निक विच इज हिस्टिक सर्च बेस्ड टेक्निक दिस इज मेन टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम विच हैज टू बी सॉल्व आफ्टर सेटिस्फाइंग सम कंस्टेंट्स वी कैन सी द बेसिक वर्क फ्लो ऑफ कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन एज फर्स्टली वी नीड टू एनालाइज द प्रॉब्लम परफेक्टली देन वी नीड टू डिराइव द कंस्टेंट्स गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम then we need to derive solution from the given constraints then if uh, we need to find whether we have reached to the go state if we have not reached to the go state then we need to make a guess and that guess has to be added as a new constraint now after adding this new constraint again we need to go for the evaluation of the solution now we need again to solve the problem by using this added new constraint again we need to check whether we have reached to the go state if we have reached to the go state then the problem solution is found one of the example of this constraint satisfaction as to solve the crypt arithmetic problem we can see the example of crypt arithmetic problem as we need to satisfy this constraint as cent plus more is equal to money we need to assign a unique decimal digit to each of these letter in such a manner that we need to follow few constraints we can assign only decimal digit to these letter second constraint is that uh, we cannot assign different digits to same letter if one letter is occurring more than once then we need to assign the same digit to those letters third constraint is like that uh, no two letters can have same digits means we need to assign unique digits to each letter we can see how we have solved this crypt arithmetic problem by using this constraint satisfaction algorithm firstly we can see we have read the problem statement properly then we have derived the constraint out from that problem statement then by applying those constraints we can find that these are the values for few of the letters out from these given ones we can see m is equal to 1 s is equal to 8 or 9 O is equal to zero. N is equal to e plus one. R plus n should be greater than eight. E cannot be equal to nine. And values of C two, C three, C four as one. By applying all these things, just we need to check whether we have reached the go state or not. But still, we have not reached the go state, so we need to make a guess. Like we have guessed, let's take the value of e as two. by taking this new guess and adding this as a new constraint we are able to derive few more values like n is equal to 3 r is equal to 9 and for c1 we have got the value as 0 now by adding these values we are able to derive the solution and we are able to get the different digits assignment for all these letters now we can find that we have got the solution this as a goal state we can see the various values or various digits assigned to each letter now we can see how we have reached to the go state by applying the constraint satisfaction algorithm on the crypt arithmetic problem thank you thank you thank you for more details you can visit www.gurukpo.com